Hello everyone, my name is Gothic Cowplants and welcome back to Pleasant View. In today's video, as you can see, we have another speed build. This time we are doing the Caliente Sisters condo. This is the third house that I've renovated in Pleasant View now and the second condo. And I'm pretty proud of how this one turned out. I think it, I got it as close to what I was kind of picturing in my head as humanly possible. Um, of course, I had to download like a lot of custom content to make that happen. But I think it turns out pretty well in the end. And one thing that I kind of tried to do was decorate this condo more like how I would think that Nina would want to decorate her house, even though Dina is the one that bought the condo and she's just letting Nina live here. Um, Dina is going to be moving out so soon into the goth mansion anyway that I didn't really want to like furnish the house exactly how I think she'd want it um, and just waste all that time only to go and redo it when uh, she moves out and it's Nina's condo. Um, and I also gave Dina the master bedroom. Again, that'll probably change like as soon as she moves out and moves in with Mortimer. But for right now, she does have the bigger bedroom. But I made Nina's bedroom significantly bigger as well because originally she has, I mean, her bedroom is not like small, but it doesn't have a double bed. And if you did put a double bed in there, it would probably be kind of cramped. So I made both of their bedrooms bigger, actually. I think I made it the whole house at least like a couple tiles bigger. Uh, I kind of did the same thing out front as I did with Dawn's house. Um, I like extended the exterior walls so that the diagonal that the front door was on is uh, two tiles wide instead of three or four, which it was originally. Um, and that way I could put the front door there and it would fit perfectly. Um, and here, I'm trying to figure out the placement of the living room. I ended up having to put the couch more in the center. Um, I wanted to put it kind of closer to the like bathroom wall, but that's just not how it ended up happening, unfortunately, because I wanted to put those windows right on either side of the TV, and it just was not going to look good if I had the couch scooted that far over. Um... Let's see here. Another thing is I wanted to try and incorporate these, or not these tiles specifically, but you saw I was just changing the flooring a second ago. I wanted to put these terracotta tiles like throughout the house, but that's the same thing that I wanted to do in Dawn's condo and it didn't work then and it didn't work now. So I did just put like wooden flooring in this house. I think it's actually, well, no, I know it's the same wood flooring that I used in Dawn's house. And I know that like all the exterior paint swatches and everything are the same because I went and checked. I wanted, or I want this whole like condo district to be pretty uniform. I want like all of the condos to have the same paint and windows and doors and all of that. Um, right now there's only two households living in the condo district, Dawn and uh, Dina and Nina. But I'm sure that'll change like as soon as some of our teenagers in Pleasant View age up and maybe go to college. Maybe once they get out of college, they'll come back and move into a little condo or something. Or whenever Daniel inevitably gets divorced, then maybe I'll send him over here to buy one of these condos. But yeah, you can see here um, the vibe that I was kind of trying to go with. Um, with, I think these couches and rug are from, they're, I downloaded them on Tumblr. They're a conversion from The Sims 4. I think the like CC stuff pack is apartment therapy. Uh, that might be wrong, but I downloaded it on Tumblr. And it's a really nice set. So, I mean, if you look for, if you just Google Sims 2 Apartment Therapy, you'll probably be able to find it. 
Um, but yeah, I used a lot of four to two conversions as I always do. And then over here, I wanted to try and make some kind of like cutout because I wanted to put a bar in this little half wall between the kitchen and this little area with the window right here. Uh, this doesn't really look right right now, but eventually I did figure it out and I think it looks pretty good in the end. Um, and in the kitchen there, I used those countertops that I really, really love those counters. I think they're so gorgeous. Um, I don't really know why I'm talking about the kitchen when we're not even over there because now I'm doing this little dining table, which I had, it was kind of a struggle to pick out the right dining table. Okay, and now we're going back over to the kitchen. I'm very indecisive when I'm building. I just bounce back and forth between like all of the rooms. I never, well, most of the time I try to like get one room done at a time, but a lot of the times I'll see something that I want to like put in a different room and I'll like go and finish that room. And a lot of the times I won't know what to do with the room. So I'll just like put it off and start working on another room. Um, so it's kind of a whole process, but I hope it's, I hope it's not too annoying to watch. Um, so here I am putting together the kitchen. I used black appliances in here, which I think I also used in Don's condo and probably the goth mansion as well, because I mean, everything there is black. And this counter set also comes with uh, all of these little cabinets. Again, this is another Sims 4 conversion. Uh, it's a really nice one too. Um, and then here I'm trying to pick a backsplash, which was another thing I struggled with. I ended up choosing one that I think that I think looks really good in the end. Uh, I don't know if it's that one or if it's like that, but a different color, but it's, it looks like that. Let's see here. Maybe I'll decide. I don't think that's the one I ended up going with in the end, but honestly, I could be wrong. I'm not really sure. Um, and then I put some little bar stools over there by the island, which I don't know if the island is really going to be able to, to function like an island because I had to like put or turn the grid off so that I could put those little counter pieces there manually because for some reason in The Sims 2, you like, I don't know if you can't do islands or I just haven't figured out like a good way to do it, which honestly is probably that, but I had the hardest time trying to get that damn island together. So if it looks a little wonky right there, that's because it doesn't line up perfectly because I had to like put it there myself. Okay, so now we are coming back to the dining area here, um, trying to choose a table. I ended up going with this table, and honestly, I don't think I checked to make sure that these chairs all scooted in. Maybe I did. Oh, yeah, I did. Right there. Um, so this dining table should be functional. And I wanted to find like a little round rug to put under there, but I didn't find one that I thought looked good. So I put a different rug. I should find it in a second. Not that one. It's that one right there. Um, that's a really, really gorgeous rug. It's another four to two conversion. Um, one of my favorite rugs that I have. And then here I am placing, I put these really like bright orange curtains on all of the windows and I think they look really good. I think orange and like pink or purple or just kind of like anything with orange is one of my favorite color combinations. I don't know why, I just think it looks like so mid-century modern and cool. So I put or I used a lot of orange in this house. And then over here, this area is, I think one of the areas that I'm the most proud of. Um, it's a little workout area for Nina. 
And I guess Dina could theoretically use it too if she wants, but we all know she's not going to. Um, I just put like that big mirror there and then the little exercise bike, which I downloaded some recolors for, which is how it has that bright orange seat and handlebars. And then I put the ballet bar on the mirror as well, which I don't know if that's functional. Hopefully it is. Uh, we'll see. We'll test it out in game and find out. And if it's not, then I'll try and fix it. But um, Nina does have the want to go into the dance career. So that will definitely be helpful to her. And then I'm using just like some converted clutter from The Sims 4 to make it look more like a little workout area. And then here I, or there, I guess I struggled to find um, a painting that I wanted to play. So I just like had to quit the game and go scour the internet for paintings. Um, but then I ended up coming back and tackling the bathroom or the downstairs bathroom at least I it took me quite a minute to or it took me quite a while to decide like what shower I wanted to go with because I have a ton of shower curtain recolors but none of them or I thought that all of them were a little bit too busy for this house so I ended up just going with like plain colored shower curtains and down here um the shower has like a glass door um, and in the bathroom I kind of went with like these hot pink towels and like rug which normally or like the rest of the house you can see I'm using orange but I went with hot pink in the bathroom and I think it looks pretty nice too and then here I'm trying to find something to put above the toilet which was also a struggle um, and then I just decide, like, I've got to rearrange the whole bathroom. I wasn't going to put a shower in here originally because, I mean, I didn't really think that they needed, like, two full bathrooms. But then I just couldn't find anything that I wanted to, like, put above the toilet. And I thought that the room would look so empty if it was, like, just a toilet and, like, no paintings or shelves or anything above it. So I ended up putting in this little corner shower. And then over here, I put um, that little table, and I think I either put, like, a plant on it or some candles. But here I'm trying to find a, sh a table that I can shove in that little corner. And here I'm trying to find a rug. We definitely have a severe lack of rugs in The Sims 2 as well. That's one of the areas that I think they're like kind of, we're kind of missing out the most. But also I used this um, accent wall kind of, of these like little light pink bricks. And I put that in the like stairway and upstairs as well. And I think it looks pretty nice. And then here I am doing Dina's bedroom now. I gave her this huge bed with like the, I don't know, what what would you call that? The curtain draped over it. Um, again, it's another conversion from The Sims 4. And I put her some little candles on her nightstand. Her bedroom, I kind of kept like the same, I guess, vibe as her original bedroom. Um, with these, like, dark red walls and the black, like, modern furniture. And obviously the leopard print um, bedding. So it's pretty much, her room is pretty much like the original, but I think slightly improved. And then I gave her a little, I guess, dressing nook over here. Um, I put, like, the clothes rack, which I think functions as a dresser and then I put an actual dresser over there as well so she has plenty of places to put all her clothes that she spends all of her money on and then I put this big poster of I don't know I don't really know what it's supposed to be I think it's supposed to be like a movie poster or something but I put that above or beside her bed and then I put that painting of the woman in like the black dress on that opposite wall there. 
And then here I actually struggled for a while to find something to put above the bedside tables. And eventually I decide not to put anything above there and I just put a clock like above the bed. I'm not like exactly sure how happy I am with that, but I'm not going to change it now. So that's how it is. And then here I'm putting her a little uh, desk area with her very own computer. Um, let's see. Trying to find a painting that I want to put on the wall over there. Another thing is that I utilized, or not utilized, I used a bunch of plants in this pack. I use, or not in this pack, in this um, renovation, I used a bunch of plants, which is kind of something that I do with all of my houses because I just never know like what to put in these little empty spaces. So I just always like shove a plant there. And then now we're moving on to Nina's bedroom right here. This one I think is probably one of the rooms I'm most proud of in this house, which I guess isn't really saying a lot because there's not that many rooms. But I went with this, like, not this color purple. I changed it to a darker one. And then I put these, like, fairy lights above her bed. And I give her an accent wall as well. And I think it looks... Pretty nice in the end. Um, and then her bed is a conversion from high school years. And I think the bedding is a conversion from tiny living. Um, both Sims 4 packs, obviously. And then, I mean, like I said, I just used like a ton of, con <laughs> ton of custom content in this house. But I think it ended up working out in my favor because it looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, I put this little dresser over here for her, which doesn't match the bed, but it is like the same set that came with the nightstand. So I think it looks pretty nice. And I'm using the one more slot placement object to put like a bunch of decorations up on her dresser. I kind of struggled to put that vase of flowers up there, which I don't I don't know who she got flowers from because it's probably not Dawn. And then I gave her a little bookshelf as well because she is a secondary knowledge sim in my game. So she'll like to read and do all that. And I give her a little computer over here. Um, and hopefully Nina will have more room for all of her stuff once I move her into the master bedroom when Dina moves out. But for right now, her bedroom is decently sized and she has access to the balcony. So, you know, that's good. But I didn't actually put anything out on that balcony, <laughs> which I might, I don't know, maybe I'll try and throw a chess table out there or something. Because uh, I don't think I put, I don't think there's anything they can use to build their logic skill in this house. Which I don't think either of them will like ever need the logic skill, but, you know, it wouldn't hurt to have it. Um, here I am working on the upstairs bathroom, which I went with like the shower tub like combo this time instead of just a shower or a tub. Um, and I used that like bright orange shower curtain. And then I copied the same rug that I have downstairs in Nina's little workout corner and put it up here. And you can see I put the little candles on that table. Um, I think their, their house turned out to be pretty cozy. This is like kind of really the style or like the interior design style that I'm into like in real life right now. So I had a lot of fun with this. And then I was trying to see just there if Nina had enough lifetime points to like buy the, I don't know what it's called, but it's like the re rewards hot tub with like all the rose petals and stuff. And she did not. So we did have to spend like 6,000 simoleons on that hot tub. So I might take away like a good chunk of their money because honestly they are broke. We also just got burgled, so that didn't help. But here I am now finishing up the house I tried to find something to kind of put on this wall outside because I felt like it looked kind of blank but I couldn't really find anything that I ended up liking so I just put some lights there and then 
to kind of distract from the emptiness, I guess, of the house. Um, I put like a big flower area out front, which is going to be a pain in the ass to water, but we'll hire a gardener. So that is actually going to do it for this video. We are coming up towards the end here. Um, here, we're, yeah, we're getting into the screenshots now. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you all like this video. Um, if you do, please leave a like, um, comment, whatever you want to see. Um, and consider subscribing to my channel for more content like this in the future. The next time, or the next build, I think, is the Broke household, which is, that'll be really fun to renovate because it's nice sometimes to not just have to do like the super nice houses. It can be kind of fun to get a little bit messy with it. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you all next time. Bye everybody.